our spacecraft. This is the one that's traveled farthest from home. Voyager 1. That's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever was, lived out their lives. Have you ever wondered what secrets the vast expanse of the cosmos holds? The Voyager 1, NASA's legendary spacecraft, has been venturing into the unknown for almost half a century now, and it's still sending back data that's leaving scientists puzzled. It seems that something strange is happening, something that has never been seen before. What kind of scary information is the Voyager transmitting back to us, and what could be causing this unexpected phenomenon? Join us today as we explore the enigmatic data that has been coming from the farthest travelled spacecraft in history. As humans, we've always been fascinated by what lies beyond our planet. The mystery of the cosmos has inspired countless space missions, one of which was Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Interestingly, Voyager 2 was the first of the two spacecraft to launch from the NASA Kennedy Space Center on August 21, 1977. But just two weeks later, Voyager 1 was launched, causing many to wonder how these twins switched places. Weighing in at 720 kilos, roughly the weight of a small car, these spacecrafts were launched during a rare alignment of outer planets that provided a slingshot effect to propel them further into space. Although both had travelled at different speeds and trajectories, Voyager 1 was able to surpass its identical twin on December 15, 1977, becoming the primary source for space-related discoveries ever since. Its first mission was a Jovian imaging mission in 1978, when it was around 265 million kilometres from Earth, sending back a massive amount of photographs. Voyager 1 completed an outstanding 100-hour stint in January 1979, capturing 3,750 images of Jupiter's rotation to create a time-lapse movie showing 10 of the planet's spins. In February 1979, it passed through the Jovian moon system and a month later discovered the little ring surrounding Jupiter. The Voyager 1 spacecraft's incredible journey into the unknown regions of the cosmos has led to some fascinating discoveries. After exploring Jupiter and its moons, Voyager 1 moved on to Saturn, where it made an extraordinary discovery of two new moons named Thebe and Metis. To ensure a safe flyby of Saturn and prevent a potential collision with Titan, one of Saturn's moons, scientists made corrective manoeuvres. Voyager 1 continued to explore Saturn's orbit and discovered four more moons, including Mimas, Enceladus, Tethys and Rhea. But while Voyager 1 bid adieu to our solar system and ventured into interstellar space, Voyager 2 still had some exciting pit stops in store. In 1981, a corrective manoeuvre was made to set Voyager 2 on a course towards Uranus, and after exceeding its originally predicted lifespan twice, the spacecraft finally arrived at the remote ice giant in January 1986. But that was just the beginning. On its way to Uranus, Voyager 2 discovered 10 previously unknown moons, adding to the growing celestial family. But the ultimate destination was Neptune, where Voyager 2 captured more than 9,000 images and made an incredible discovery. Nine previously unknown moons. But that wasn't all. Triton, the largest of Neptune's moons, had some fascinating secrets to reveal. It turns out that Triton's diameter was not as previously thought and the satellite had surprisingly few impact points on its surface. And its brown-white coloration? Geysers. These volcanic formations spew out liquid nitrogen that freezes into white nitrogen snow upon landing on the surface. With these incredible discoveries, the Voyager mission left an indelible mark on our understanding of our cosmic neighbourhood. No other spacecraft has revisited Uranus and Neptune after Voyager 2's journey. However, scientists have still been able to observe and study incredible phenomena on these planets from afar. Following the completion of these missions, the Voyager planetary mission came to a halt, and both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were sent outside of our solar system at an astonishing speed of 325 million miles per year. In 1990, the Voyager interstellar mission began, and Voyager 1 captured some of the most famous photographs in history. The spacecraft took 60 shots, including the famous solar system family photo of the Sun and most of the planets. Although Mercury and Mars could not be seen in the images for various reasons, the total number of photographs taken by Voyager 1 reached 670. 
With power and memory conservation in mind, the spacecraft's cameras were turned off before its interstellar journey. Imagine a spacecraft that has been exploring space for 45 years, traveling through the vast expanse of the cosmos, constantly sending back valuable information about our universe. That's exactly what the Voyager 1 has been doing since its launch in 1977. But did you know that it was not alone in the mission? NASA also deployed other space probes like Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11 and New Horizons to explore the depths of space beyond our solar system. Before the Voyager 1 reached interstellar space, Pioneer 10 was the farthest spacecraft that NASA had sent out. Voyager 1 passed by the Pioneer 10 on February 17, 1998. But Voyager 1's journey didn't stop there. It continued to travel for another 14 years before finally entering interstellar space in 2012, a feat that no other spacecraft had accomplished before. The Voyager 1's interstellar journey was kept under wraps by NASA for a year before it was officially announced in 2013, and the spacecraft continued to travel through the unknown regions of space, sending back valuable information about the interstellar medium that no other spacecraft had been able to gather. As the spacecraft ventured deeper into the unknown, it crossed the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's solar wind is no longer felt and entered interstellar space. Voyager 2 followed suit, officially leaving the solar system in November 2018. As of today, Voyager 1 is approximately 14.8 billion miles or 159 AU from Earth, and it's still in good health, continuing to make groundbreaking discoveries. What has Voyager 1 discovered on its interstellar journey? What mysteries of the universe has it uncovered? And what valuable information has it brought back to Earth? How has the spacecraft managed to remain in good health for so long? These are just some of the questions that scientists are trying to answer as they continue to study the data sent back by Voyager 1. One thing is for sure, Voyager 1 has proven to be a groundbreaking mission that has challenged our understanding of the universe and has opened doors to new discoveries. But after decades of being the ultimate space explorer, Voyager 1 has recently started acting out of the ordinary. According to experts, some peculiar anomalies have been detected in its performance. One of the most unsettling issues is the transmission of enigmatic signals back to Earth, which suggests that the probe is uncertain about its location coordinates. It's as if Voyager 1 is lost in space and trying to reach out for help. What's even more alarming is that Voyager 1 has failed to activate its pre-programmed safety measures, which are designed to trigger an alarm or switch the spacecraft to safe mode if it ever becomes lost in space. This has raised concerns among scientists who are closely monitoring the situation. Interestingly, Voyager 1's antenna, which is responsible for transmitting data back to Earth, appears to be functioning properly. Despite functioning regularly and carrying out commands from Earth, the probe's articulation and control system readings do not accurately reflect what is occurring on board. So what is actually happening? Well, every spacecraft designed for interstellar exploration, including Voyager 1 and 2, carries a special 12-inch diameter gold-plated disk as a backup in case an extraterrestrial species discovers the vessel. The disk is loaded with audio and video messages, such as 35 Earth sounds, 115 photos of life on Earth, 90 minutes of Western music, and greetings from former US President Jimmy Carter and former UN Secretary General Kurt Waldheim, to name a few. To ensure that any alien species can access these messages, they have been recorded in 55 different languages. However, despite rumors circulating that the spaceship is under alien control, scientists have quickly dismissed this idea. Voyager's ability to function properly relies heavily on its Attitude and Articulation Control System, AACS. The AACS keeps the antenna constantly pointed towards Earth, allowing scientists to receive accurate data and it also controls the orientation of the spacecraft. Thus, it's highly unlikely that any external force, such as aliens, could take control of Voyager 1's AACS and cause the anomalies that NASA is currently observing. While it is still unclear what is causing the discrepancy between the readouts and the probe's articulation and control system and what is happening on board, NASA is working hard to investigate the issue and find a solution to ensure that Voyager 1 continues to provide important scientific data for many years to come. The enigmatic situation surrounding Voyager 1 has also been an area of concern for engineers lately. 
Although the spacecraft appears to be functioning regularly, sending and receiving instructions and transmitting scientific data, the readouts from its articulation and control system are not accurately reflecting what is happening inside. Despite this, none of the safety features installed to protect the craft from danger have been activated, adding to the mystery surrounding the situation. According to Susan Dodd, project manager for Voyager 1 and 2, encountering mysteries like this is not unexpected at this point in the Voyager mission. The spacecraft are now over 45 years old, far exceeding their expected lifespan. Susan acknowledges that the engineering team will face significant challenges in resolving the Voyager 1 problem due to the vast distance between the spacecraft and Earth. In fact, it takes almost 21 hours for messages to reach the probe's current location at the speed of light, making two-way communication with the spacecraft an average of two days. NASA has stated that until they fully understand the cause of the problem, they cannot predict how long the spacecraft will be able to continue gathering and transmitting scientific data. However, Susan Dodd and the engineering team are optimistic that the issue will be resolved, perhaps by finding a solution involving the AACS. If that is the case, Voyager 1 could be back to its best soon. Regardless of what happens, we can be grateful that Voyager 1 has already achieved its purpose, revealing many mysteries of our solar system and beyond. It's a testament to human ingenuity and curiosity and a remarkable accomplishment for NASA and all those involved in the Voyager mission.